Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. Here we are. none of us alike in vocation. That is most fortuitous. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Did anyone... I'll see that. Ort catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. At last! I thought we'd never find one. Our collection grows. I shall have to inform my own master of this. We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. We'll manage whatever comes. to pick quarrels with Cyclops. This foe seems unlikely to catch a chill, however cold our ice attack may be. This brute has quite the temper. Why do not use their brains to our advantage? There's a cave in the vicinity that you've yet to explore. I can take us there, using knowledge I gained beyond the rift. Leave it to me. I know precisely where we're headed. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. Well... We know where we're headed. 
What say we begin the trek? That's a rare find. Fortune smiles upon us this day. Huzzah! This has put me in a grand mood. This is not what I expected. Our collection grows. To inform my own masterpiece. Right there, I want you. Spurs the imagination like places yet unvisited. Just think! We might have got the custom of new attention! We can leap from one end of the kingdom to another in a trice. Tis not an item to be squandered. That was hard work. Let us pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and try not to slip up again.
there are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. The walls are too... What's up there? I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. Fortunes are looking up. All the more so if we sell this newfound prize. Whether or not we make the sale is for the Arisen to decide. Arisen. Perhaps Fortune has deigned to aid us at last. Salma Arenfeld, Alecano Nandarin. What could... Would yon chest be hiding? I must know. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Now we should be able to transport ourselves here at any time, so long as we've a fairy stone with us. We seem to have a ride without issue, but are we safe here? Oh, Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? After you, Arisen. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tail. Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. Uh, I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself, uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing, no matter how they fascinate me. It isn't to be. Another day, I a predicament. So tired, I barely the vim to tell my boots. Mice.
Who are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Who's the one requesting? I didn't ask. Tis not a... These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them from afar. To the unseen... You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me, I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trail of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold. But this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Well met. Hmm. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Your word, you have come. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, so, so stand here and take your aim at yon targets. Do I thought I was leading the way? You have my gratitude. I learned much from you just now. In fact, I have made a discovery. Unlike those of Elven make, bows crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? But I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all bows, yes? Not so for those of Elven make, however. Our bows are crafted to guide not the hand, but the heart. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of Elven kind. We are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true, as if tis all a matter of points, I admit. I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Let us see if I fare any better now. 
Huzzah! What a feat! I, I can hardly believe it. Every last arrow found its mark. Dead centre. This marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for ease of aim and steadfast flight of each arrow. To think that I should, I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow foreign make than one of my own peoples. It is a strange thought. But how else to explain it? My arrows have not soared so true in all my days. I'd nearly given up on myself. Yet would seem I am not without talent after all. My performance of this bow has divested me of such doubts. But the ingenuity of this design... If only my people would take heed. It is all very well to talk of honing one's form. But why should we not perfect the tool so integral to our customs? I am decided. I shall take this bow back to the arbor. With this as my weapon, I have no doubt I shall pass my trial of archery. It seems Sir Glindor's doubts no longer plague him. May his newfound confidence see him through his trial of archery. There's no great shock to me. Well met, Sasha. How might I be of service? Hail, friend. How fare you? It is not long now ere I am to undertake the trial of archery. I thought it only right to tell you that, as you were the one who gifted me the bow that I'll be using. I was also rather hoping you would consider attending. No one could be worthier of witnessing this milestone in elven archery than you. Ah, but the path to the arbor is not easily found or followed. To be best, I escorted you. There is a log bridge near the ruins where I train. I'll await you on the other side. Come find me when you are ready to make for the sacred arbor. The village of my people. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Would you do me? There is a long bridge near the ruin. Fancy a look at my wares. You've come. Shall we be off? Follow me. And pray take care not to fall behind. One can easily lose their way here. The sacred arbor will be a sight to behold, I am sure. Let us trust in Sir Glindor to see us there. We ought to be guided to our destination. Let's try to follow along. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. I'll get that for you. We're not to talk during missions, sir.
Fear not. I'll think of something. El, alacarium ilmen elote falomentarin nun fir nandeu in morteren ecialis, nun fir ananduine. Iselrod vane nun lia casinque erenun, lia fendel nar salma vi fir alacarium fionaro osto. Oh, but this one comprehends elvish. Impressive. I suppose I needn't summarize my conversation with Luamir just now, then, if your companion interpreted it for you. Now, come. The place the trial should be held is just up ahead. Etella el dalia nunwe el one. The elves associate little with the world outside their wood. Perhaps therein lies the origin of their noble nature. Let us take pains to cause them no offence. The trial of archery shall be held here. I bid you wait just a moment uh, while I prepare my entry. But I've just noticed. Where are all the custodians? They ne'er leave their posts. Could it be all to miss? Nenwen mor Iwanon. Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karil. Martir fa nun fionor minas vena eralote. Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karil. Kiriando anmindor hiroth. No. Darren? I cannot stand idly by while my sister is in peril. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, tis now. I beg of you to join me in my sister's rescue. There is no time. I shall mark the location of the ogre's den upon your map. Make haste. Her life hangs in the balance. We cannot leave Sir Glindor's sister to her fate. Let us make for the cavern and aid in her rescue. Ah, oh, yes. Finally arrived. Just where to find it. I thought we'd never make it. On with the delving, I say. I tend to think better on my feet. We ought not to let caution hold us from the curiosity to derail it. You're here, and not a moment too soon. We must find my sister and save her from the ogre's clutches. Veninume, mor martir teel adaka kiriandio. Tayel ni sil arin fel. Nun morivin we alkarwa menelume. Lis anandor lultena. Nando in far echialis, pelinol wende, sinde, soron, aele, alvekil. Moriven fender nar itarondo vani. Falis tu lia fune numen osto taralia osto telpe. Lungtene nu. Danger might lurk anywhere. 
wear every shadow. And mind the ceiling. Be sure to keep your wits about you. hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Arbor Heart, preserve me. Tis even more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. My father battles the ogre while my sister is trapped in his fist. But there is still hope if I act quickly. Listen well, friend. I shall strike the beast's arm while my father holds its attention. The moment the ogre relinquishes my sister, I ask that you lead her to safety. I have ne'er attempted to strike a target so distant before. Ian, the trial of archery does not demand such a feat. Yet, for the sake of my sister, my arrows must fly true. Pray, keep Darren out of harm's way. We must make our escape, and quickly. We must carry Ms. Darren to safety. That was rather more difficult than I anticipated. abilities are unique as well. At the end of the day, our vocations are of little import. Mutual trust is what counts. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. Hold a moment. What's this? A way out. Let us make haste. Oh, my heart. There can be no gladder tidings in all the world. Words shall ne'er suffice to express my gratitude, friend. None of this would have been possible if you had not gifted me this bow. You are my sister's savior. I am for heir in your debt. Et l'air, l'air fermor el dalia era lotte. 
Finlena. Karilm ilmen arkael, silfa nambawe nun kalail alame, angod kemenindor kanyan irils aldekar. Fionar elwe arfarne nenwen sur orne? Eteler le affermor el dalia eralot, ondvana al vekil eteler ne lungtena pele telume, ane martir tindome ingarina fa alme al carua? Nenwen mor aiwanon, arta hir curir, mor fa erando amanda kil. Kiriando an mindor hiroth, Arta hir kurir, vanelin hiror soron, sorne an fameltor, nun is amanda kil angadur fenon. Kasinke telpi nun finaler, lera ne fir heranon, an ne arta her fir nis. Din lenar, nun dene wi fir nostu. My gratitude to you knows no bounds, friend. It was your kindness that altered my plight as, as much as this bow. Not only are you my sister's saviour, but mine as well. By the by, if you are as passionate about mastery of the bow as I am, perhaps you might speak with my father. His experience ought to be of benefit to you. Kalail <laughs> Alame. Karilm ilmen arkael. Aidalia anandor, nun lintan. Heror anne oia fermor, halan hiar menran, lis fa arnefane. Af elorato ala, nun mor arta her. Firnis an erumar isil rod et peller. Laikasar an ils findemunt in cel, Ne fanamo lis Kiriandio mor erlot? I avstir lalasta, nun falasmir malananon? Ana mor li. Sir Fulvio, the artist whose service Sir Clark Dalia nun ve el one And the error and the oil for more. Mor nun hiroth. Very well. I shall return. Karium, kemen rostindume nun meltol, morvea kuruir. You, no elf, halan lome meltol. Fear nis nambawe. I am called Darren. My brother taught me to speak your tongue. <laughs> so different from our own. Do you understand me? I learned the words, but. This is the first I use them. <laughs> Others of your kind have come here, but my people warn them away. Oh, but I cannot stay. I must, um, see to the Arbor Heart. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Of late, the Arbor Heart is, uh... We're going this way now, I suppose. By your will.
see you. How fair you. Bought befell my family. I don't know. Then I shall remain by your side. More nun heroes. More fa errando. And nun falls mir an amor lis. Congratulations, Arisen! Acquiring a maester's teaching is no mean feat. I could not be more thrilled for you. Tis an honor and a privilege to serve a master so accomplished. My duty is to care for this. Our sacred tree, the Arbahart, she is called. She has been with us, uh, a very long time. She is nature's very heart, and a pillar of strength for my people. We have always lived in harmony with nature, and the Arbor Heart is our uh, 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 connection to the land. Yet, um, day by day, her strength is, is failing. I must give her nourishment of the soil to help her recover. A special kind, called Gwifentia, in my language, I know not what you would call it in yours. Once, a dwarf wandered into the arbor and gifted some to us. It filled the arbor heart with life. Now, um, little remains. Too little for the arbor heart to recover her strength in full. She begins to wane. Do you know of this substance? It must be found outside the arbor somewhere. If you find any, will you tell me where it lies? You can always depend upon me to translate for you, Master. Gwifentia is the elvish word for scale cinder. In your tongue, it is called scale cinder? Where can it be found, I wonder? Now, scale cinder is a byproduct of the Batali smithing style. A Batali blacksmith ought to be able to tell us more. If you see him on your journey, will you let me know? Alecano Nande. You say you're on the hunt for what is said a woefully lost blacksmith once stumbled into the arbor and left some of it with us upon parting. In your language, it is called by another name. What was it? I know I've read of it, of course. Scale Cinder. That's the one. It can be found in Batala. I know no more than that. It isn't much talked about, you see. The blacksmith was a dwarf, and the elders are rather prejudiced about their ilk. have thought we'd find one here. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. What catches the light? Let us ponder how best... ...to proceed.
A cavern of all things. It seems undisturbed. Mayhap we'll be the first ones to explore it. Might I recommend we venture inside before bandits find us? This boulder looks mighty heavy. But we might just be able to move it if we find our place. Shall we set it rolling? achieve if we honed our talents further. We shall have to crane our necks to spot our foes in a place like this. Keep your voice low, lest my heart leap from my throat. Materials can be found here, methinks. Well, well, that's quite a discovery.
I'll be standing here, right? No harm shall come to you. Look upon this sky. Eternity. If it was. I'll hold off on guiding us there for now. Perhaps the Arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. I'd be in your debt. Are you all right? Perhaps you should rest a moment. What? Thinks there are rare materials to be found here about. It's in your charge. find one. A splendid discovery. Leap ones? Oh, I hate how they wriggle! To fall to such a beast would be shameful indeed.
daring arisen? Has aught yonder caught your eye? we would not. Considering the might of our combined experience... This obstacle shan't get the better of us. There must be a way to remove it. I can attack at a moment's notice, Master. Shall I assist? here I'll wager. I say we collect as much as we can carry. No harm shall come to you. Common materials can be found here, methinks. Well, well, that's quite a discovery. Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it is. I might 
might be so bold as to speak my mind? Is your pack not overburdensome? Oh, carry so much. I worry for your poor spot. Here we go again. Give no quarter! an item of exceptional rarity. I cannot wait to tell my own master of its existence. I don't know about 
about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? While in another world, I... I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. That's quite a large boulder, but methinks twill budge if we combine our strength. I say we give it a push and see what happens. About time we had ourselves a meal. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. off and try not to slip up again. A passage. Here. Truly. There are secrets around every corner. I've a feeling tis best left untraveled. Am I the only one? Can we have a rest before pressing on? A short jaunt can quickly become a journey, to before you know it, you're bruised up and all out of curatives. You too? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one.
Feast your eyes on this! At first glance, it seems impassable. But unless I'm mistaken, an alternate path is close at hand. There's no debilitation a curative cannot mend. Let me get that. Be careful of the oozes, master! Notice we've all got different vocations. That is most fortuitous. We must each of us hone our skills. A jet is broken, and with it, our path forward. We'll have to find another. Ah, a fairy 
Greystone. With that in hand, we can leap from one end of the kingdom to another in a trice. We must save it for a time of dire need. Is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. Parting gift. I'll see it safely. Into my pack, don't you worry.
Did anyone else see that? Ort catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. Times of eld. To remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap, and I shall harness it to your benefit. Since time remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well.
Thank you, Liz. I'm overjoyed to have you to the task of us to serve you. Not a bad idea. Masterfully done. Just think what we could achieve if we honed our talents further. beyond the rift with it. Boy, what's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermont? Tis beastrons like you what brings shame upon true beastrons. What? Got something to say about it? Eh? Save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. All you've got to do is prove your mettle against these sods alone. That is, if you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? Put your back into... Well now, quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. Tis not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel, one on one? What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm, that's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Me Ragnall? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not crossed. But I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us, aye? Oi, bring it out! Where's that reprobate gotten off to? We'll see if you can escape me a second time. You've made your point. Go on, take your prize. That's all of it. Empty the coin purse myself. You're not trying to pull the wool over my eyes, are you? <laughs> Suppose I'll just have to take your word for it. I'm not fool enough to challenge you. But that one's in your charge. Grant me that much, at least. Aye. All right.
You fought well, stranger. Twas a shame about the results. You're skilled enough, but I suppose the odds were against you. Still, train up a little more, and I might consider you worth my time. I have high hopes for you. Perhaps one day you and I can have our own little duel, one on one. In the meantime, you'd best get those wounds seen to. Farewell. Sir Ragnall is no ordinary man. That much is certain. Well now, I'm not sure. Master. I'm a master of the craft, I am. Can't put a price. Aye. What brings you to Brocker's Smithy? Looking for scale cinder, are we? Well, you're in a look. Our forge is flit. Oh, tis at an elf's behest, you say? I'm afraid that changes things a wee bit. Elves and dwarves don't get along, see? Brocker won't want to help you. Unless you were to offer him aught he couldn't resist. Listen, I happen to know there's one bit of elven culture no dwarf can turn their nose up at. All elven fares bland as grass. All of it. That is, save this singularly flavoursome dish, Nutriab. Of course, no dwarf would openly admit to having a taste for it. But the fact of the matter is, the mere smell of that dish has dwarves foaming at the maw. Don't believe me? Bring a bowl of it to Brocker. You'll soon see. So the blacksmith ought to grant us some Gwifentia in exchange for Nutriab. Shall we inform Ms. Darren of this, Master? Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. Have you found Gwifentia? A dwarven blacksmith has some? Truly? But elves and dwarves do not see, uh, eye to eye? I fear the smith will not heed my plea. You believe he will if I prepare an elven dish? Which one? Nutria. Dwarves have a liking for it, they say? Are you certain? Nutriab is not very tasty. Few elves enjoy it. It is a pungent stew of um, old fish and apples, boiled till it forms a, a, a thick paste. But I shall prepare it, if it has any chance of bringing me Grafentia. The Arbor Heart depends upon it. Would you be willing to gather the ingredients for me? You won't have to go far to find them. I thank you. I need only the two main ingredients. Rotten apples and rotten fish. Bring them to me and I will prepare Nutriab. Rotten fish and apples? My stomach lurches at the very thought. But I suppose we ought to procure them all the same. Tis as you say. Do you have the ingredients? Oh. Uh, ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? My turn, 
This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials res... Ele Osto silfa malantha alecano mine. Unfair Averhum Baarinf Alecano Nandewi. And the wind Salma Arenfer. Do you have the ingredients? This is all I need. I will prepare the dish now. It shan't take long. My people dwell in the mountains, so we are rarely able to dine on fish from the sea. This dish was first made by an elf with a craving for fish, when no fresh fish was to hand. These fish already stink of the sea. Left to rot, they turn even more um, pungent. <laughs> Nutriarb is oft served at celebratory events, but I have never seen anyone eat it. Everyone turns their noses from the smell. Hmm. I must endure. It is almost finished, thankfully. The stink is more than I can bear. It is ready, but it is so vile. I cannot understand how anyone could stomach it, let alone enjoy it. I fear the dwarven blacksmith will be angry if I present him with this. But I will trust in you. Come, let us away to Batal. I thank you. Here, my brother gave this to me. Might we not use it now? The sooner we arrive, the better. We need only bring this dish to the smithy. Are we to escort Miss Darren there, or use the ferris stone she gave us? Follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. The vanguard is yours. Lead on! There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Here's a surprise. The thrill of discovery never gets old. Interesting. Staring arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye?
You there, have you a home in Batal? If not, well, look no further. As it so happens, I've one to sell. Now, I've noticed you tend to travel with pawns, so I thought you might prefer a home of your own to stay at, rather than a crowded inn. Well, what say you? Not feeling so keen, are you? Well, you'll not find a better deal elsewhere. Of that, I can assure you. Batal. It is nothing like the arbor, yet it has a beauty all its own. Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights, Arisen. You're back. And who's that you've got with you? An elf. I ne'er met one afore. <laughs> Not quite what I imagined, if I'm honest. Uh, well met. The name's Sarah. I'm an apprentice here at the smithy. Well met. She's the one who's after the scale cinder, I expect. Have you brought some of that elven delicacy along with you then, like I suggested? Yes. I have the Nutriarb with me. Marvellous. I thought I smelt it on you. Mark me, you put that in front of Brocker, and he'll fain hear out your request. Right, follow me. I've just cleaned out the forge, see, so we'll need to make for the cavern where we dump all the excess scale cinder. Come on, you two. The cavern's this way. Shall we follow Sir Sara, Master? With any luck, we'll have pockets full of scale cinder before the day is done. What business have you here? This is clearly designed to carry us somewhere. It could prove useful. This seems useful. It would be a shame not to employ it to our advantage. Is your pack not overburdensome? Oh, you carry so much. I worry for your poor spine. Don't bring trouble to my door, you hear? Right, here we are. Oi, Brocker, you in here? What's all this racket? I thought I told you that... You imbecile! You brought an elf here, of all things! Get her out of here, now! Hold a moment, Brocker. She's brought something for you. Don't you want to see what is? A gift for you. Bah! What makes you think I'd be able to stomach your elven cooking? I'm gonna go dispose of this, and I expect the elf to be gone when I return. What am I to do now? What you came here for, of course! This is your chance! Truly? But... You'll have to be quick, mind. Rocker makes short work of his meals. While you're at it, you might have yourselves a little competition, eh? See who can collect more of the stuff. Anyway, good luck. I'll be outside keeping watch. Best start searching. Rocker might be back any moment. Oh! Are you done collecting already? Hop to it then, eh? You won't find any...
There are you- I must get as much. I've got a good feeling about this one. My heart flutters with other nutriarb truly be enough to persuade this dwarf. Oh! Are you done collecting already? That was quick! Suppose we'll wait till Darren's done as well, then head back, eh? My heart is racing. I thought the dwarf would catch us. How much scale cinder did you get? Oh, you got much more than me. I suppose you win. For now, I must return and tend to the Arbor Heart. I hope you will come visit us again. I should like you to see the Arbor Heart, um, restored. And I must thank you as well, Sarah. You and the blacksmith, Broker. Not at all. It was my pleasure. I'm sure Brock would say the same if he weren't so stubborn. Thanks needed. I was just glad to be of use. I hope the scale cinder sees that tree of hers flourish. No thanks needed. You're here. You must come see. Look there. New buds. The Arbor Heart is recovered. And as she and I are as one, I feel 
renewed myself. You saved her. I will never forget this debt of gratitude as long as I live. The Alberhart seems gladdened to have new life in her bows. It is joyous to behold. Fortunate I am that we crossed paths. Perhaps we can uh, journey outside the arbor together again someday. All is well, thanks to you. All is well. Osto silfa malantha alecano mine. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this. Have you any new tidings to share? I have a request. Will you hear it? I thank you. Have a moment. The crisp morning air lifts my spirits. I am happy. Have you any new tidings to share? Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. We've arrived well enough. Where to next? Time. Time to There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. I thank you. This is for you. As thanks.
you. Anything. Don't think you're safe just because you're in the city. One found its way inside the common quarter just the other night. Much blood was spilled afore the. You could say it was an ill twist of. I wonder if building a nice. Who there? How have you fared? Would you lend your ear to my request? You have my gratitude. Favors, I say. I quite agree. You have my gratitude. Pray, take this with my gratitude. A friendly face at last. If I might be so bold as to impose, I fear there are none else to whom I can turn. And if this is not done, the road through these grounds shall forever remain impassable. Pray. Will you lend me your oh, thank you. We are to say. Guard Sir Oscar to the Cenotaph. Shall we be off? I know the way. Follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. fell from the beast as it breathed its last. I see you cannot manage without me for a moment, Arisen. Oh, 
has the ability to bend horns to its will. Oh, few materials are more coveted than this. It makes all our efforts worthwhile. I dare say the quandary of what to do with it is half the joy. We ought not to challenge such a foe without a sound strategy. Few battles are won by fortune alone, after all. A ballista? Tis a glad thing we happened upon this. Unleashing it during combat ought to fluster our foes.
I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? Which will it be? Beasts or brigands? We'll know soon enough. Have no fear. Whatever comes, tis surely no worse than aught we faced before. Thanks for healing me, Arisen. Might I be of assistance? I shall not fail you.
You wish me to return? At once, Master. to destroy this, it will have to be from the other side. I am sorely disappointed. Say, I shall remain here till you give the word. Now there's a worthy prize, if only to work so far away. so soon. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. I was hoping for. Oh, it wasn't an easy journey, but here we are at last. All that remains is to ring the bell. I only pray it works. That should do it, eh? What? Seems to be well. My humblest thanks, sir. I swear I'll never shirk this sacred duty again. I'd fain reward you for your aid. Heaven knows you've earned it. But I fear times have been rather tough on me. Oh, perhaps you'd accept this key for your troubles. I happened upon it on our way here. I suppose it must unlock something on this battleground. Though I confess I know not what. Still. Surely it must be grand, as the key is of such ornate make. I pray it is to your liking, sir. Huzzah! You've done it! A job well done. That was over. In a trice, where to next? It is all rather sudden, but I suppose with no reason. Shall we make for the point of departure? Pray, allow me to show you the way. The vanguard is yours. Lead on.
would seem we've need of a key, but... Oh, what a nuisance. Let it simply break it down. Do you mean to destroy what's inside as well? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Look! Master, a treasure chest! We shall have to find a way to reach it.
I'll gather this. It might be of use. Taking. I appreciate you carrying our heavy items, but do let me know if you need a hand. Bats arisen! Let us leave them be. obstacle shan't get the better of us. There must be a way to remove it. I am poised to strike. Just say the word. Shall I assist? Times must be tedious if you've resorted to challenging beasts to bouts. You ought not to be so careless. That was a skillful bit of thing. You do your vocation proud. One here. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Water is now invisible in this gloom. A few times as an overconfident step soaked my boots. You too? Oh, glad I'm not the only one.
over so soon? Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Let me be the one to collect it. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. There's something written here. Shall we take a closer look? I see you cannot manage without me for a moment, Arisen. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness.
You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. Many have tried, and as you can plainly see, all have failed. I would abandon any such fool ideas if I were you. After all, that which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. I trust I have your attention? If so, take your place and we shall begin. Your resolve is commendable. The fool beholds a sage in the mirror. The sage a fool. Which is it you see, I wonder? Our eyes are our allies, yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do lead astray. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door, and retrieve that which is of greatest value. Come to test your wits. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which is of greatest value. So, this is your choice? The greatest worth your eyes describe? Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes see true. No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest and take this file too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. That was certainly worthwhile. Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity.
come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth. Is this your most beloved you bring before me? Well, well. Very good. Not half bad, yet more than one you bring. What a glutton you are. Though better a glutton than a prude, for mortal life without greed is hollow indeed. A promise made, a promise kept. Surely not. Come to test your wits. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent, such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. Come to test your wits. The parent knows the child, yet I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. And you claim this to be the parent I seek. Indeed, you are correct. All is in the name. You have proven your wits, and so I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest at your leisure. Come to test your wit. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize and thence elude your ponderous demise. So, this is your prized possession, a most revealing choice. Do you consent to give it to me, knowing that it may never be returned? Well, well, very good. That's the spirit. Such generosity deserves a reward, methinks. Why don't you take a peek in yon chest?
done, Master. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. Come to test your wits. Is ever the first we keep fond in our breast, and ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the Seeker's tokens, I trust. Those keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Seven days, shall we say, ere you return? May your journey be a pleasant one. Come to test your wit. Seeker's tokens are tra- Yet where was it that you've- Six days from- You may hear my riddles as oft as you please. The puzzle lies in the answering after all. I've beds to spare, if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Always a pleasure. Prepare yourself. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Night is a frightful time to be... Did anyone else see that? Ought catches the light. Let us ponder how best to proceed. At last! I thought we'd never find one. Ingredients are plenty. to full hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Ooh, I can't wait to... I doubt what's inside.
We seem to have a ride without issue, but are we safe here? Come to test your wits. Seeker's tokens are treasures indeed, keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Ah. I see, I needn't have worried. Well sought and well found. I trust it was a pleasant job. As promised, you shall have your prize. Look for it in yon chest. Five riddles have I posed, and five answers have you given. Perhaps you expected more, but I'm afraid that's that. Our next game shall have to take a different tack. Though constant this world may seem, in truth all is in flux. And so the time has come for me to fly. If you are not yet satisfied, seek me at my new abode. But for now, I bid you farewell, dogged adventurer. A resounding success. <laughs>
so dearly did you love our game that you have sought me out again. Let us resume at once. I too have grown rather engrossed. <laughs> Now, questions beget questions, and I have one for you. How many riddles have you solved thus far? My memory fails me, you see. Remind me, and make it plain. Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before me. Let yonder statues be your means. For every... This is your answer. Are you sure of your count? My, that's quite a number. And the correct one, no less. I see you're keeping track. Of course, your erudition shan't go unrewarded. Ours is a battle of wits. Tests of metal are more to your strength. Is that not so? Come, try your arm. Though he shall be your opponent, not I. However, I am not one to be amused by a simple duel. Bear this ring into battle, that I might gauge your true strength. strong as your arm. You have more than earned your reward. Another chest is yours to claim. Easily the mind unravels. Some say it's pain that does it best, others darkness, but I say neither. Rather, I say a mind cannot be more soundly broken than when it beholds its earnest efforts laid low in a single stroke. 
Could you survive such despair? We shall see. Here, I have an amphora destined for Sir Moritz in Batal. Deliver it to him, but beware. It's rather fragile. I do hope your struggle will amuse. there. You seem like a learned individual. Surely you have an interest in the mighty Sphinx depicted on yonder wall? It is a beast of fearsome intellect, whose riddles have confounded some of the greatest sages in history. Indeed, it is said that answering its questions is but a portion of the puzzle. Should the day come that you seek to challenge the Sphinx yourself, you would do well to look to this mural for wisdom. About time we had ourselves a meal. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. What in the world were you thinking, bringing me to such a place? Hold a moment. That vase. It cannot be. For generations now, my family has been charged with a duty to seek out this amphora. To think that it was hidden here, of all places. Is that why you brought me here? So that I might claim it? Oh, joyous day! At long last, our vigil is at an end. Well, well. Very good. Well, well. The amphora has been delivered intact. I'd not thought you had it in you. Though I'd hoped to savor your dismay, you shall have your prize all the same. That was certainly worthwhile. So vast is this world, and full of life. You are but one of many, indeed. In the grand scheme, we are as distinct from one another as pebbles on a beach. Yet we do so love to extol our differences. But are these differences so great? 
If you believe so, this next task should prove exceedingly simple. I seek this man. If men are so distinct, I'm sure you'll find him in a trice. Hope to see you again. Nothing caught your eye? Oh, that's a shame. Let's hope there's all... It's worth our coin next. So vast is this world, and full of life, indeed. But are these differences so great? If... Is this the man I sought? Truly? You are satisfied with your answer? Then I shall weigh its merit. a human from the faceless swarm is no less a challenge than to seek a single grain of sand on the Alta Batal coast. Yet pluck you have. And for that, I congratulate you. Another prize is yours for the taking. And with that, our game comes to an end. As amusing as it has been, I shall now take my leave of you to await the next courageous soul who would test their wits against mine. are a persistent one. Do my prizes fail to satisfy? Truly your greed is boundless. But soon you will learn. Those who live by their greed tend to die by it. Though it is a pity. I had taken rather a liking to it. It will bring me no pleasure to spill your blood. But nor can I ignore so bold a challenge. <laughs> I dare say there'll be no more riddles after this. It is a shame. Puzzling out those questions was quite enjoyable. That was certainly worthwhile. It is moments such as these that make an adventure worthwhile. Our efforts have been rewarded. Then this. A pity it is wasted on us. It'll fetch a fair sum of gold at least.
There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? We seem to have a ride without issue, but are we safe here? Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. You too? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. 